uh, a sucker for these uh, Chinese kits. So uh, this supposedly is a, um, a digital lock, like a, a key code, a key code lock. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to expect. Uh, let's dump it out here. Uh, all right. So, oh, there's a PC board. Oh, nice little board. I kind of like this uh, kit because it had a uh, some surface mount parts on it. So uh, most of the kits you get are through hole. So it's interesting to see a surface mount version. Um, and it is all in Chinese. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'll have to get out my. Uh, Google uh, Google Translate. Um, see if I can do that quickly here. Yeah, let me do it later. Um, but it looks like we have a uh, clock switch. A bunch of switches here. Hmm. So I think. This is hardwired to a specific code. Um, I don't think you can program it, which is kind of strange. Uh, all right, so uh, it has uh, a 4013 and a 4011, which are Looks like a D flip flop is the 4013, and the 4011 is a NAND gate. Uh, so very basic. So probably is a uh, you need to get the the correct sequence to clock the signal through the different latches. Uh, but what did we get? So we got our two ICs, um, and our third IC here. Oops. Yep, three of these, some surface mount resistors, um, some through hole switches. I'm not sure why they didn't give me surface mount switches, but these are probably cheaper. <laughs> so some through hole resistors. So we have surface mount resistors and through hole resistors and through hole capacitors. So very mixed bag here. Um, so it will be interesting. Let me um, go off camera and see if I can't read this a bit. You've probably seen this before, but if you haven't, this is a Google Translate. Um, you uh, download it, it's an app. You set it, uh, I have set it for Chinese to English. And then you can speak into it, if you can speak Chinese and say what the English is, or you can write. Um, or you can hit the little camera button and you get the camera, and then all you do is show it stuff. So it says simple profile. Simple lock is by D trigger 4013 uh, and 8 around. So <laughs> it's pretty bad here. Uh, said you enter password correct. So that, oh the LED light, LED 1 lights. Uh, there's a clear, let's see, password in the process. If not, uh, I'll have to go through this. Oh, here we go. Uh, password were 1479. So this thing is hardwired to 1479. Um, so now you can get into my house because everybody <laughs> put this on the front door. Uh, maybe not. So I think the thing to do is build it up, try it out and try a little bit more of this uh, uh, translating off camera and see if I can get it, can't get it to work. So off to the garage. All right, uh, put it uh, put that little piece of paper in the in my copier and make it made a bigger copy of it. So let's see what's going on here. Um, so here's the LED that says uh, it's correct, I believe. Um, and 
this is the output here. I think that's all it does. There's no output. It's just an LED that turns on. So I believe the thing, the way this thing works is um, the first D flip flop has five volts on the D. So when you press the switch, it clocks and makes Q true, which feeds to the next D. And if you hit this switch, it clocks it, makes this true, makes that D. Hit this switch, clocks it, makes that true. And then you hit that switch, it clocks it, and it makes this true. Which, uh, which, yeah, this is ground, uh, which lights up the LED. So it just strings it through. And then if you ever hit one of these other switches inadvertently, which is the wrong code, then it, it'll reset these. So um, uh, it wouldn't do you any good. Um, so you have to hit this switch S1, S4, S7, and S9. 1, 4, 7, 9. That's what the code says here. And then any other switch resets it and uh, is a failed attempt. So that's how it works. So pretty basic. Okay. Uh, have all the surface mount parts on now. Um, I showed that. Didn't show that on the camera because you've seen me do surface mount before. So put everything down. Um, everything worked good except for one resistor uh, didn't quite wet, and uh, it didn't. It didn't. It it did, just didn't wet. So um, I had to uh, hand solder uh, this one resistor on. Otherwise, everything else worked great. Uh, should have put a little more solder paste on that one, I guess. Uh, but I didn't get any bridging or anything on the IC, so I had the right amount there. So that's the surface mount part. Uh, which is three ICs and six resistors. The resistors are all the same value, so that was easy. Uh, so now the part is uh, through hole. <laughs> Have some through hole resistors. Uh, put those in. Uh, capacitor, switches, and the LED. So, yeah, that's next. Well, here it is all put together. Looks pretty nice, actually. Um, it came with some wires to put on the uh, the VCC and ground, uh, but I uh, just put a little header on here instead so I can hook up a jumper wire. But um, yeah, let me uh, see if we can get some power over here, power it up, and try it out. All right, here's some power, uh, ground, and VCC. And uh, we can hit some buttons. Nothing happens because we haven't entered the right code yet. And the code was 1479. 1479. Hey, and the LED came on. Amazing. And we hit any other button. And oh, there's one. I'm not sure which one clears it. 147. Seven, nine. Maybe this bottom button here clears it. No. Nine. Eight. Eight seems to clear it. I don't know why. One, four, seven, nine. Eight. One, four, seven, nine. Five. No. Six. No. Hmm. Only eight. Okay. Anyway, there it is. Uh, Two dollars and fifty cents. I think I got two dollars and fifty cents worth of fun out of it, um, and component count wise, yeah, two dollars fifty cents, not too bad.